Hello and welcome to this last video of the Open RC Tractor Build With Me series of videos. In this one we are finally going to finish the build, okay? We are finally uh, finished assembling the tractor. So let's get to work, okay? We have this part from previous videos, okay? We're almost there. Uh, we're going to start, for example, with these rear parts that are missing, okay? We need to assemble this part of the hook. So we're going to use M335 or 40, it's okay. We're going to insert it here and we're going to use, again, a nut with nylon insert. Okay, that's quite all right. It has to move, so don't over tighten it too much. Now we're going to assemble these motor covers, left and right, but first the exhaust. So we're going to use M3 10 millimeters here. And we're going to insert a normal M3 nut here. And that's going to go right there. We're going to put this hole facing to the back so it it we don't see this on the outside. <laughs> this goes like this, okay? And we're going to use one nut, one screw, M3 nut and screw here, here and also here. They are M3, 8 or 10 millimeters, it's okay. And we're going to do the same for the other left part, okay? Let's keep all cables inside. So I'm going to insert the nut, the screws and nuts, and I'll show you when it's done. <coughs> Next, we're going to go with the fenders, okay? This one is the left one, and this is going to go like this. We're going to use M3 normal nuts here. Okay, and now we're going to use this countersign 8 millimeters here okay now that we have the fender with this piece okay now we're going to insert this okay we have already inserted these M3 nuts and then we're going to use this uh, counter sunk M3 that's 16 millimeters long okay you can do it with 12 millimeters long but it's a bit too tight, so I normally use this 16 if I have them lying around here. Okay, and as you can see here, and we're going to do this for the other right part. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, we have both parts here, both fenders. Now it's almost ready. We're going to insert the tires. Okay, this is the right one. Okay, now let's go with the nuts, okay, we have here the nuts to secure both wheels, both tires, so we're going to use countersunk M3 8mm here, okay, we have almost anything, okay, now it's time to use, uh, okay, well, this is the cover, this is the the hood, okay, this just pops into there, okay, and it's, it's, you know, the result is quite good, I think, this, I used 
with these different colors, okay? Now there's only one thing left that is all of these small pieces, okay? These are the plates with the model. This goes right here, okay? So all of these pieces we have to use a drop of glue to secure them, okay? So this goes right here, one in each side, okay? Here, and this goes here. These are the two part um, lights. This is the rear lights, okay? Rear lights of the tractor. I normally use, let me show you, with one small self-tapping screw, I can screw them here. The black part, for example, as you can see. Okay. And now I'm going to put a drop of glue here for the covers. Okay. Let me uh, attach this, all these things and then I'll show you the final result and I have a little surprise for you. Okay, now I have uh, glued everything. Okay, I have inserted this with the, uh, with the screw, this and this and this and glued the red part and this the transparent part and I screwed here uh, the plate, okay, the license plate and I also attached these plates, okay, this, this and this. This is just I have just done that, so I'm going to leave it there, okay, to keep it dry, uh, to, to wait until it dries. Now, uh, okay, well, that's the tractor. I think that's the end of it. Remember, now you, uh, the only thing that you have to do is to connect everything here. You have to insert the battery, and you have to connect the receiver and the driver, okay, the ESC. Uh, check the video with the connections test in which you can see how to connect everything all of this the you know the space the room is pretty tight but it works okay you can insert all of this here and it's going to fit okay it's going to fit in there a bit tight but it works okay more or less it's not connected we have you have to connect it first and then let's try this Okay, so that's the result of the tractor, as you can see. Here, you can use a drop of glue to avoid this from happening, okay? And the surprise that I was telling you earlier is because I have a new project here, just right here, and this is like a first preview, okay? That's a damper trailer. You can see it here, double axle, okay? This is going to work some kind of suspension, okay? Like leaf spring suspension. And this is everything that I had to do to make it work. I use the same motor as 2019 version of the tractor and this threaded rod so we can make it uh, so it can be, it can, it's a trailer, a damper trailer, okay? So it's going to work, I'll show you with another video, but at least you can see this is semi-flexible filament, so it's quite good. It's not completely 100% finished, but it's just, you know, few details. And it's going to work, I think it's, it has even a jack, okay? Here. And this is the cable that we're going to connect to the tractor. It really works, I'll show you in another video. Okay, so that's it for the series of Build With Me Open RC Tractor videos. We have the tractor already working or we should have it. We have here the damper trailer, but it's a new project. It's not released yet, so just stay tuned to my channel or to my, my manufacturing design page and you'll see that really, really soon I'm going to release it, okay? So thank you again and see you soon. Bye-bye.